We've made it through the portal and we are in the Dark Elf Country. Welcome back. We are in mission number seven of our free play council rescue campaign playthrough here. And now we have to destroy the Venom Spitters. Now, the Venom Spitters at the beginning of the turn poison a random hero. And so, unfortunately, our crystal life is a little low. But we did draw Terminus, so that's a good start. Um, and so, when these, or when these Venom Spitters poison a random hero it is a random hero it is not random our hero it is a any hero on the board so instead of playing this bow maiden on the board i'm just not gonna play the bow maiden on the board and we're gonna let tim poison all of his own guys now he used what he used he used Swarm, so it gave all his dudes one movement and one attack, um, which did some damage to my crystals, but ultimately not too much. Um, so yeah, let's. Uh, so on his turn, we're gonna save the terminus. And what we're going to allow to happen is the poison damage is going to take effect on his turn. So this guy's going to die. And then we're just going to save up. You don't ever want to end the turn with more than five mana. That's a rule of thumb. And yeah, we're going to lose a crystal. Okay, he, he blew a bunch of removal on that archer. So I'm sorry, poor archer. Goodbye. But instead, we're going to get this... Um, we get this terminus out here, and this terminus hopefully is going to carry us to victory. Now, if I was thinking for my brain, I would have put him a little further forward, but I was not fortunately thinking of my brain. And we didn't attack them because we didn't want to get ourselves poisoned. I um, mean, also these guys have the nasty ability where when they die, they give a buddy on their team an extra damage of, of attack, so I didn't want to give him damage. But now, now that uh, this Viper's on the board, now I do want to kill the other spider, because I don't need to worry about a counterattack from the Viper with the Terminus, because the Viper is a ranged unit. Is this guy rooted? He's totally rooted. Oh, I've made mistakes. So he has a power that will root an enemy hero, which means you can't move him. And that's making me sad, because I was going to kill that viper, and now I can't. And now this guy's got tons of attack, and so it's actually pretty dangerous. Um, fortunately, he decided to attack Baldrick for some reason. And so that's going to allow me to come over here and take him out. So all, all's, up, all's well that ends well, I guess. Um, it's not really how I drew it up, but it's okay. And then we use this archer just to plink away. And we also, we do want to heal this terminus up. It's going to stop the poison. And um, I'm hoping that the spiders will choose to root somebody else. Now, why would you... Okay. So yeah, he, there's a card that Dark Elves have that can revive all KO'd animals. Now it's a legendary, so there's only one of them, um, but it's pretty good. Uh, I would love to draw another archer, because these guys poison you whenever they counterattack. And this Terminus is nice and clean right now, and I'd love to keep it that way if I can. Um, and I don't think I'm going to need this Fist of the Gods, uh, knock on wood. I think I'd rather just sacrifice a Rook. And then we're going to use Baldric. Just run up here and run interference. And I'm hoping that at some point Terminus is going to be freed. Okay, I think he's... Yeah, it looks like Terminus is going to be free on my turn again. Because he decided to root the, uh, the Rook. So that's good. So... We can get Terminus into the into the fray here, and we're gonna start to feel a lot better about ourselves. 
So let's do that. Let's get the War Sister out here. And we might as well buff her up. And let's heal. Let's heal Baldric actually. Baldric's a little in trouble. Um so this this guy is effectively dead. And the reason is we got these siege barrels. These siege barrels do two AoE damage to a three by three square. And if you'll notice, all these guys are in a three by three square. So as long as we get all these down to two HP, we can just play the siege barrels and finish them all off at the same time. Um, unfortunately, this guy is kind of blocked in the corner. And uh, what I want to do is I want to use this gurgle pot next turn to come on this square here and knock out this obstruction but I can't quite do it yet now unfortunately my terminus is back to uh, back to being stuck forever so So I think we're just going to take those two out, and that's going to be two less things that are getting poisoned every turn. And now that I have more units out, that's uh, obnoxious. Uh oh, he's gonna he's gonna take out Baldric and some of the spider. Well, that's pretty obnoxious. Okay, well, that's not great, but at least now we can we can throw bodies at this last uh, this last thing, and I want him to not be able to counterattack. I don't know. Actually, I think it's better if I heal Terminus. As long as we're keeping Terminus alive, he always has to keep rooting him. So he's kind of just a big bait right now. Unfortunately, so is he rooted still? No, so he's, he's not rooted anymore, so that's good. Um, I want to take out this Brain Basher. I think I need to take out the Brain Basher. But I also want to win. Winning would be excellent. So I don't think he can kill me this turn. So I'm just going to put the Terminus here. So now the, if he roots the Terminus, it doesn't matter. Because he's already where he needs to be. And let's take care of this Brain Basher here. We've got enough damage to do it. And we only need to keep one of our crystals alive. So let's just do it like that. And the Brain Basher is scary. But now he's gone. So now he has to kill the Terminus or the game just ends and we win. Alright, it looks like we're gonna be okay here. Alright, we made it through. So riding on the back of Terminus to a beautiful victory. See you in round eight.